Hi, my name is Jean Schomeyer and I work at the Seattle Parks Atlantic City Nursery and I'm here to talk to you about corn gluten. It's uh, derived from corn and it's really the name it would be called corn gluten meal and I use it here at the nursery to um, cause weed seeds not to germinate. It's a great pre-emergent. Six years ago I started this job and I was a bit overwhelmed by all the weeds in all the, the potted plants. This is a large piece of land and the wind carries a lot of weed seeds into the pots. So once I weeded all the pots, I decided that perhaps corn gluten might be a helpful answer to my weed problem. I tried an experiment to make sure that the cost of corn gluten was efficient. I took 1500 Oregon ash and I made them into three groups of 500. One group was a controlled group, one group I applied corn gluten, and the third group I applied corn gluten and bark. In this controlled experiment, I discovered that not only corn gluten acted as a, a very good pre-emergent in potted plants, but that also it acted as a wonderful fertilizer. So I concluded that, in fact, if, even if it didn't act as a good pre-emergent, it, it was worth its money being a slow-release fertilizer. So I find not only that it helps to cut down the work here, but I've passed the word on to other nursery folks and have gotten feedback that uh, they're ha really happy with the discovery. So if you follow me over here to the potting bench, I'll show you how I use it. So this is the corn gluten meal. And I'm gonna pot up a deer fern, the native deer fern. And I take my gallon, fill it with soil. I've done some root pruning already. And I just uh, put the plant in the pot. And when I apply the corn gluten, I do it, I'm so, I've applied so much of it that I pretty much have a feel for it, but I would say it's between about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, and I wanna work it in the top, like so. And uh, depending on the crop and, and how long I think it will be in the pot, I'll cap this off with some bark. And now the corn gluten has 10% nitrogen, so it helps to uh, decompose the bark a little, and the bark is just another way to seal um, the corn gluten in. You water it in, and it, it works most effectively if uh, the corn gluten is allowed to dry for two or three days. But I find in a container plant versus being out in the landscape that I really don't even worry about that. Um, and if you do see weeds starting to grow in here, the corn gluten acts by inhibiting the feeder roots from growing. And so you may have a long tap root, but it's not attached very well, and the weeds are very easy to pull out when, they, when and if they do. Now after some time in the pot, you might want to go and reapply the corn gluten, weed and reapply the corn gluten. Now remember, the corn gluten is a great fertilizer, so if you have weeds in your landscape or pot, it will fertilize them. You need to weed first, then apply the corn gluten, which acts as a pre-emergent, keeping the seed from emerging, or when it does, the little seedling root root feeder feeder roots won't develop and you'll just have maybe one tap root and when the plant goes in a drought those uh, weeds tend to not survive as well so I hope this uh, has informed you and maybe you'll experiment a little bit in your landscape or potted plant